there's a subtle finding on the x-ray. Let's go through the case. When a chest x-ray looks pretty normal, you need a list of review areas to go through. This makes sure you don't miss anything important. If we start at the lung apices, we can see there are lung markings between the ribs, so no apical pneumothorax. And no opacity here either, so no pancose tumour. Outlining all of the ribs, these all look fine, and the clavicle and scapula also look okay. I can see a nice thin right paratracheal stripe, and this density lateral to it is normal, representing the brachiocephalic veins draining into the SVC. The hyla regions look okay, they're equal in density and look like branching vessels. Now look behind the heart. In this normal case, we can see there should be an equal level of density to the right and left of the spine. In our case, we have an increase in density on the right compared with the left. This needs an explanation. What could this represent? It could be consolidation, particularly if the patient has presented with features of a pneumonia. Lower lobe collapse is possible, but there isn't a classic sale sign. If the patient is a smoker, then lung cancer is a possibility. A hiatus hernia can sometimes cause a retrocardiac opacity, and you may sometimes see a fluid level. A posterior mediastinal mass can also cause this appearance, but are more likely if you can't make out the vertebra. And I think we can just about over here. Here on the CT scan, we can see the patient has features of emphysema, suggesting that they are a smoker. On this coronal view, we can see there's a mass accounting for the finding on the chest x-ray. The lesion was biopsied using a CT scanner, proving the diagnosis of a primary lung cancer. So the lesson here is to have your list of review areas whenever you think an x-ray might be normal. And you won't miss out when...